So let's just go ahead and get right into it. We have the new NARS foundation, which I have been dying, like dying to try this. I believe this is called, yeah, the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. So many people have been loving this. So that's why I've been super excited to try it. So I have three shades here. I'm not exactly sure which one I will be, but I have M3 Stromboli. And then I have M4 Barcelona and M5 Valencia. So I want to show you guys some swatches quickly. So this is Stromboli, which, oh, that's actually a really nice shade. I thought it would be like too yellow, but it's not. It's nice. And then we have Barcelona, which this one is described to have a little bit more of a peachier undertone. And then we have Valencia. I'll just show you guys a close-up first. So we have Stromboli, Barcelona, and then Valencia. So I think I'm going to go with Stromboli. So I have the foundation pulled up on Sephora. I just want to kind of go over some of the claims. So it's $60 Canadian. I first of all love the packaging, like just the really sleek glass packaging. Okay, so some of the details of this foundation. It says that it is full coverage, which I'm excited for because you guys know I love full coverage. Skin type, it says it's for every skin type. S sensitive, normal, dry, combination, oily. And the finish is radiant, which is, I mean, explanatory because it's like in the title of the foundation. Oh, so then when you actually describe the foundation, it says medium buildable coverage. <laughs> Anyways, medium buildable coverage up to 16 hours of lightweight, natural fade resistant wear. So it's fade resistant, which I'm really curious to see because I typically get a lot of fading around the forehead and the jawline for some reason. So we'll see about that. So it's also supposed to be not cakey or heavy or drying. So I guess we're going to see. So anytime I'm trying a new foundation, I like to just use a good old like regular primer, nothing too matte, nothing too hydrating, just a good kind of go-to pore filling primer. So I am going to use the Benefit Porefessional just so that I don't, you know, alter the foundation too much. Okay, so like I said, I am going to go with Stromboli. So I'm going to take one pump first, which one pump is like really tiny, but I don't know how full coverage this is going to be. So yeah, one pump just doesn't give a lot. I guess it's just the pump that they chose to put on this foundation doesn't really pump out a lot of product but this foundation is kind of runny I could tell even when I had it on the back of my hand so I feel like that's a good amount to start off with also I love the fact that this does have a pump can I just say when I was like pulling off the lid when I first got it in the mail I was like praying that they would have a pump sorry for the sun it keeps going up and down it's like a super cloudy day well this actually blends really easily I can already tell I am going to need to apply more. But that's okay because I just want to show you guys what one layer looks like because I know whenever I do foundation reviews, you guys just like ask if I can please put less foundation just so that you can see it. So this shade is a little bit too yellow for me. Um, I probably should have tried the shade Barcelona. So I think I am actually just going to switch over to the shade Barcelona. I think it's going to suit me. Yeah, I think it's just going to suit me better. I have the shade Barcelona in the sheer glow and it's a pretty nice match. So I don't see why I wouldn't have chose this one in the first place. Anyways, um, I really like that look, like that finish. It looked really smooth. Not cakey, it feels super lightweight and it's blending really nicely. So I'm actually really happy with it so far. I just would like some more coverage. I definitely like the tone of Barcelona way better than Stromboli. Stromboli is just like pretty yellow for me. I will leave my foundation shades down below that I wear in other foundations if you guys want some references. Um, but I can list some right now. So I wear Giorgio Armani 6.5 and I also wear um, Too Faced Sand, Wet n Wild Golden, Golden Beige and Desert Beige. I mix those two. So if you're similar to me, then definitely pick up Barcelona. Like that is so much better of a match. I feel like, oh my God, so much better. You guys, I am like in love with this right now. Like this looks so good. I'm gonna try and not get overly excited because I really wanna see how it's gonna look later on in the day, but this looks so good. Oh my God, I see why so many people wear it now. And it just feels so smooth. It doesn't feel powdery but it's, it's like a liquid smooth. It just feels really good. And it looks really good. It's crazy because I feel like, I feel like I kind of need more coverage here, but I almost don't want to add any more because it just looks so 
good like so healthy and my skin looks really fresh like I have this like slight slight dew wow I'm so excited I was like praying and hoping that I would be really happy with this because I have to take photos after this and um, I don't know I always every time I'm trying a new foundation I'm just like please don't end up being a fail so I really wanted to give you guys a close-up of how the foundation is looking I'm so happy with it like I can't even say that enough I'm probably gonna repeat that like 50 million times in this video it just looks so healthy like what are pores I feel like I don't have any pores I don't have any imperfections with this foundation and I just feel I just feel good like I feel good it looks good I'm gonna say it again I'm happy okay so I just finished up doing my makeup and you guys I am like obsessed with this new foundation like it might possibly possibly be my new holy grail foundation I really love it and I'm actually really happy with the color the shade Barcelona my cheek products just sat really nicely on top even the concealer it just all sat really nicely and blended evenly and it looks super smooth and healthy I'm in love with the finish mostly especially for every day because it's just that perfect natural radiant and you know what that's so funny that's literally the name I swear to god I did not plan that that's literally the name of this foundation but that's the words that came in my head was like natural radiant because it's just a really natural finished foundation it's not too dewy but it's not too matte anyways long story short your girl's obsessed with it I don't know what else to say I love it a lot it doesn't settle into any smile lines I don't see any dry patches it's not fading which some foundations already start fading on me especially around the forehead area it looks good so far by the way I did not powder it and I did not set it. The only thing I did was a MAC Fix Plus spray, but I didn't use any other like setting spray just because I don't want to alter the foundation. And I didn't powder because I don't really like powder that much lately. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been using a lot of liquids and creams just because I love the like natural finish that it gives. So I haven't really been using powder much. So I didn't powder other than my under eye. So I just wanted to let you guys know what I did. Also, because I know some of you guys will ask, I will leave my lip combo down below in the description box. I'm just using a lip liner, a lipstick, and a gloss. So I'll leave it down below. And I'll also link my shirt down below, although I might be filming a super cheap clothing haul. So you guys will probably see this in it, but I'll link it down below if any of you guys want to purchase. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead, take some photos, and then I'll kind of vlog the rest of the day so that we can check in to see how this foundation is doing. Ooh, that reminds me what time is it so it's currently 1 42 but i did start my makeup and put this foundation on let's say around like 1 p.m and then yeah we'll just check back in later to see how this is wearing okay you guys we're doing a little check in so it is now 3 p.m and here's how the makeup looks or the foundation looks i guess i should say i actually haven't even looked in the mirror this is like i'm just looking at the viewfinder it's the first time i'm seeing it i am definitely really happy with this foundation so far you guys like i hope 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 it looks good after at least six hours like i can deal with at least six hours because i feel like if i wanted to push it past six i could try harder like i could powder it set it and, uh, with the setting spray and stuff i didn't do any of that so i'm hoping on its own it lasts at least a good six hours i feel like that's a good amount on its own for it to last so I also wanted to show you guys the foundation in front of my studio lights because it's always nice to see how foundations look in different lightings, natural light, in the sun, um, studio light, and I think it looks really good in the studio light. And also I took flash photos and I didn't get this, so this is natural light. So I took flash photos and I didn't get any flashback, which I'm really happy about. That's like a deal breaker for me. What foundation was it recently? Oh, the new, uh, the not new, the Lancome foundation that you guys saw me try um, in my um, testing subscriber recommended makeup video. I liked the foundation, but when I went to take photos, there was a lot of flashback. I think it's called the Taint Idol foundation. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and um, do some editing probably eat because I'm hungry and then I will check back in with you guys in a few hours okay you guys so I just realized I left my phone downstairs so I can't show you the time but trust me it is 6 p.m. Uh, I think it's like 6 30 ish this is how we're looking so far to be honest with you I'm actually surprised I am not that oily yeah like I definitely expected to be more oily I'm really happy with it so far it's actually lasted really well i am going to turn on my studio light so you guys can see how it looks with that right now because i know that studio lights will show your oils more so just so you guys can kind of see the oiliness i guess okay so here's how it looks with my studio light on so you can still see like i'm not really that oily you guys and i didn't even powder 
Like, I'm really shocked. By the way, my lip liner has completely faded. I just reapplied gloss. So that's why, like, the, the lip line looks a bit weird. But, wow, I'm actually really, really shocked. Okay, so I'm pretty sure, let me grab the mirror, that my lipstick is all, yeah. Lipstick and lip liner is all faded now. So don't mind how that looks. Yeah, it's like 8.30 now, so it's been just about 8 hours. The foundation is just starting to wear off a little bit here around the mouth i'm like holding you guys so far like let's get in here so i can really show you guys so as you can see just like right around the mouth a little bit on the chin and along the forehead here and those are usually the main areas where i do kind of get my foundation fading the most but i'm really shocked on how it held up because i didn't powder and because i didn't use a really good setting spray i kind of did like the least like I did the bare minimum with this foundation and it still held up really nicely for eight hours Don't mind my lip. I bit it yesterday I'm like in the process of really getting rid of that habit I have a bad habit of biting my lips and I stopped for like three weeks and then I did it yesterday anyways, um yeah, I'm about to go wash this makeup off so I can get really comfy. Anytime I have makeup on, I'm always super careful when I lay on the couch because I have a white couch and like white pillows, so I don't want to get foundation all over it. Anyways, I love this foundation, you guys. Like, I'm floored. Actually, I was thinking about it while I was downstairs. Um, this reminds me a lot of my Giorgio Armani foundation. Like, I love my Giorgio Armani for the same reason why I'm falling in love with this one. Just looks super natural and it looks so beautiful. I, I don't know. There's like a slight difference. The NARS one is slightly smoother than the Giorgio Armani, like slightly a bit more powdery than the Giorgio Armani one. But I like I feel like they would fall under the same umbrella. So if you love the Giorgio Armani, you're probably gonna fall in love with this new NARS one or vice versa. Anyways, I love it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's gonna be like a new fave. You guys are gonna see me using it like forever now. Let's do a little test in the studio light. So I feel like you guys can see it better. I mean, I am a little bit oily on the nose, but which is expected, you know? Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wash this makeup off. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions kind of review and wear test video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.